I'm in love with him. I had a dream about him only last night. <laughs> I love him. In my dream, he had gotten divorced, and uh, he's very interested in me. Oh, sorry, he asked about John Stewart. He asked about alternative, my thoughts on alternative media and John Stewart, and I was confessing that I had a dream about John Stewart last night. Um, I think John Stewart, you know, they said that Johnny Carson was like the Walter Lippmann of his era, and in a way, John Stewart is, you know, a very, pow the humorous, if they're at the top of their game, as he has been this year, you know, we, I TiVo him and all the political reporters and diplomatic reporters come in my office every morning and we watch John Stewart and sometimes I find myself taking notes and then I get nervous because I'm taking notes on a fake news show, you know, <laughs> in the New York Times, which isn't good. But I think that he has been so brilliant and, and what I find kind of depressing about it is then you read this stuff about how young people are not going to vote. So you think that when, if they listen to Jon Stewart and they're getting their opinions from Jon Stewart that w it would inspire them to vote. So I think that he's brilliant, but I wish there was more of a connection with people getting uh, interested in this race because this race, everything in the whole country and the whole world is up for grabs. You know, and I would just love it if Jon Stewart you know, we're getting kids to register whichever way they were going to vote, but at least to vote and be part of the process. You know, I said, I, I made this commencement speech at Manhattanville, and I said I didn't appreciate the 60s when I was in them, because at least in the 60s, the kids, they all wanted to change the world. You know, I mean, of course there were excesses, but I miss that feeling of, you know, on a college campus of everybody wanting to change the world. and. There was, this, there was this one guy I used to go out with and he would, he didn't have much money, so he, he had to decide like between breakfast and buying the New York Times, long before I had ever read the New York Times, and he would settle for coffee in the New York Times. And, you know, I just, I, whether they read the New York Times or listen to Jon Stewart, I wish more people would be inspired to get involved in this election.